going to discuss with you, my dear friends, the RS flip-flop, RS flip-flop, which is H-triggered. Okay, H-triggered means if you are having a clock pulse like this, this is going, this is a pulse coming down and pulse up then pulse down, you just notice this edge is, you know, this is positive going edge. This edge is negative going. This edge is positive going. This is negative going. This is positive going. I mean, this is a rising edge, falling edge, rising edge, falling edge, rising edge, and falling edge. So this is a clock pulse, okay. Let me assume that we are having the S. We are having the S input like this is going up and down. This is arbitrary. You may choose the different also. And let me choose the R input of this shape, okay. And uh, we know the relation between input and outputs of the clogged RS flip-flop. If the inputs are 0, 0, clock is high, then no change in the previous state. If the SS0, R is high, clock is high, S0 means reset, Q will be, Q will be 0. If 1, 0, S is 1, and R is 0, then clock is high, then Q will be 1, that is the set state. 1 and 1 at the input with clock high, that's invalid and it is a forbidden state. Okay. Now here is a symbol of uh, the edge triggered SR flip flop. You know, just notice here this triangle. This is for rising edge triggered. The symbol for rising edge triggered. Like this one is the rising edge. Now, if the clock pulse is like, if uh, what will be the if the S is like this and R is like this, and the clock pulse is of this shape clock pulse is the symmetric, you know, of equal time period. Okay, then what will be the Q and uh, Q complement? Now just to, we, found, we will find Q and Q complement. Just notice we will focus only at the rising edge. Like this is rising edge. You just notice here S is high and R is low. So what will happen? And before that, you just uh, we imagine that the Q is low and Q complement is high. But when the rising edge comes, S is high, R is low. What happen? The Q will go to high, and Q is going high, and Q complement low. So this will continue till the next rising edge comes. You just forget about in between the stay in between these two. When the rising edge comes here, just notice the S is low and the R is high. So the Q comes to low. There the reset state now. Firstly it was set, now it is reset. So the reset continues, continues till next rising edge comes next rising edge that mean here this is s is low r is low both the low zero zero the previous state exists what was the previous state q is low and q complement is high so the two states remain as it is till the next rising edge comes but that not shown here this is how it works. 
a self lift flow with the edge triggered remember it triggered with the rising edge only this one okay thank you of triggering high level triggering that mean only this level will trigger and this is a symbol this line this this these the are inputs and this one is a clock it is like this for high level triggering this level will trigger this flip flop okay high level mean when this level come the changes set s and r will be transmitted okay so triggering type high level triggering the so this level will trigger now the low level triggering and the symbol is like this this level will trigger now positive edge triggering this edge will trigger you know positive symbol is like this negative edge triggering this will trigger symbol circle and a triangle